Morning, CHS Instagram teacher takeover. It's myself, Mr. Jones, head of sixth form, history and politics and my daily commute in. And look who I found, ladies and gentlemen. Look to the millions watching. Morning, morning. It's only Mr. Abbott. It's, a, it's only Greta Thunberg. It's only Cheadle's Eco Warrior. <laughs> and look at this. He's Where even, else would you find me? He's even on brand. <laughs> he's got his uh, Cheadle stash out, bit of advertising for the school. He, lo he loves it. How are you, Mr. Abbott? All good. Looking forward to year seven games today. Let the fun begin. I mean, this guy loves it. He's out, wind, rain, doesn't matter what it is. He's always out on his bike, aren't you? Just doing your bit. <laughs> right, come on, we better get to work. We'll see you later. Uh, we made it, we're in one piece. It's about 7.30. Uh, Mr. Abbott, how would you uh, rate your ride this morning? It's a nice one, that. Leisurely one, I would say. You know, keeping up with the old boy. So, uh, yeah, enjoyed it. Well, how are your legs feeling? I mean, you've been doing this for a whole of uh, three days now, haven't you? Um, how are you feeling from this? Still getting used to it. A bit of saddle sore, but we'll leave that there. Yeah. Uh, and here's another intrepid uh, cyclist. Uh, here comes the deputy head, Mr. Axon. Morning, Mr. Axon. Good morning, everyone. You all right? How are you feeling this morning? Very good. More refreshed than you, because I've driven in, I think. So, not on my bike, but we're good. Right, we better go get changed, get ready for the day. Cheers. Uh, morning all, I thought I'd show you a very quick uh, insight as to what the sixth form centre looks like. You can see it's quarter to eight, but we have a number of upper six in particular working hard. They've got a couple of days, really, so they go on study leave. Um, Rosie, what's going to be the highlight of your day today? The council meeting at lunch. The council meeting at lunch, the last one. It will be an emotional moment for many, I'm sure. Um, give it an hour, this place is going to be heaving. We can see strollers, teams sitting up all the way down there. Um, and uh, thanks, Morris. Morris has given us a wave. Uh, and yeah, we'll show you what it looks like at break time. Thanks very much. Uh, during the course of the day, I'm going to show you some of the people who work in the sixth form uh, building. And here I am with Mrs. Dawn Woods. One of, her, one of her many roles that she has here as assistant head is that she's in charge of the EPQ. So, Mrs. Dawn Woods, uh, the deadline was yesterday, wasn't it, for submissions? Yep, absolutely. So, 49 pupils handed in yesterday. A bit of a stressful day for some of them. Some of them were printing like manic in the morning. However, most of them came quite calm and had a good... Um, and submitted well. Um, to be honest, the, the EPQ is amazing. We've got 49 students out of 132. If I do the maths, that is just off my head, I think it's 39% uh, of our students who do it here. We've also got the e, uh, HPQ lower down, um, and uh, Mrs. Dalton Woods is a brilliant support for our students. You can see uh, their gratitude here. Um, I don't think you need to declare that, do you, Mrs. Dalton Woods? No, definitely But, um, but uh, I think it's just a huge well done to the, the students in the lower six who've been involved. It's a massive achievement. Um, and uh, we wish them well as we do the marking. When do, when do I need it in for? I've got three to do, haven't I? When do you need it? Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. It will be done, of course, on time for you. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Dalton Woods. Have a great day. Okay, and you. Bye. Uh, morning again. So here we are outside Strollers. This is the sixth form uh, area where they can get teas, coffees and food. I'm here with sixth form uh, legend and institution to Justine Hi. and the Sodexo team. Um, <laughs> Justine, uh, what is the big seller here at the minute? What's, uh, what's flying off the shelves? Okay, so the biggest seller today that we've got at recess is going to be pepperoni calzones. See you at recess. Tune in to find out and to watch the queue at break time later to see how orderly, some of them are laughing here, how orderly the six form queue up uh, for that. Thanks, Justine. Have a good day. See you I'm in the print room now because we've got, we've got 52 applications for the senior school council from the current year 12s. And what we're doing, similar to last year, is we're going to actually read their applications blind. So we don't know who's written these letters of application. It's part of the application process to remove any sort of bias. It's part of the system that might exist otherwise. So Miss Martin, who is not in today, sadly, uh, but what she has done is that she has blanked out. You'll notice, so I'll show you this here. You'll see at the top, you see where the name is. It's being blanked out, so we don't know who they are. They're going to be scanned in by John and Amanda here in the print room, two of the young sung heroes of behind the scenes here at Cheadle Hume. And then the sixth one team will be kind of assessing these and it's going to play a big part as who we shortlist for interview, uh, which we're getting out to the students next week. The bell's about to go. We've just had the upper six, politics. We've been doing some work on rational theory. Heath needs to know this for his exam. He needs this definition for one of his nine markers. Heath, go for it. What is rational theory? Uh, the rational theory in comparative politics refers primarily to the uh, choices made by groups and individuals in order to achieve their goals, depending on whether they're operating in the US or UK. Wow, look at that. Round of applause from the rest of the class. Thanks, Heath. OK, it's start of period three. I'm going to show you the sixth form. It's not a free period, it's a study period. I'm going to show them working hard. And here we have, look at this. Look at all this work that's going on. Here we go. 
we've got the 12s, we've got the 13s, we've got a couple of students in the private study area here getting on with some work as well. This is the sort of uh, dynamic, peaceful environment that we're used to here in the sixth form. It's the final council meeting of the year. Everyone give them a wave. Give them <laughs> We've just been speaking about transition and shortly coming up is a, a live scoop with Anthony and Edie, head boy, head girl. So I'm here now with Anthony and Edie, our head boy and head girl for this year, who can tell you a little bit about the, the conversations and the, the meeting that we've just had. So this meeting was all about our important transition for next year's council. Yeah, we've had such an amazing year being on the council this year and we can't wait to see what next year's council brings. And on that note, it's good luck to everyone who's applied for the council from the year 12s. We're hoping to have that finalised by the end of this half term. We've just had year 12 assembly. We've been talking about the year ahead and I've got two students in year 12 who want to plug an event for us. So, uh, Scarlett, tell us more about this event. Um, we're holding a fashion show um, to raise awareness of sustainability and all the funds go to prevent breast cancer. So it's for a really good cause. And Grace, when is the event and how can we buy tickets? It's on the 19th of May and you can buy a ticket via Pair Portal. And am I, this is something you've done as part of the Arts Award, is that yes. correct? Yes, yes. There's five of us and we've all organised it. Okay. It's got a lot bigger though than just from the subjects. It has, hasn't it? So yeah. that is, let's just repeat, 19th of May, yeah. Thursday, fashion shows for a great cause. Students have run the entire thing themselves. It's really impressive. Get yourself on Pair and Portal to buy tickets. Right, period four, where have we got to get to? We've got Arts Award. Now. We've got Arts Award, okay, good luck. Uh, so here I am with the six one team. We've got Mrs. Allison here, Mr. Brooke Barnes and Mr. Cordley. Uh, we've just had our weekly meeting. Lots of exciting stuff going on. We've had the last day for year 13. It's about UCAS, about curriculum offers. But most importantly, we have just selected the menu for the levers too. So this is like, this is like live breaking news for you. Okay. We're gonna, and we're going to go around. So Mr. Cordley is going to start. Mr. Cordley, what soup? And what starter can Year 13 look forward to? Well, the soup-wise, they can look forward to a nice roasted wild garlic and potato. And then moving into the starter, looking for some oriental shredded duck salad, sesame seeds, lime, sweet chilli and coriander. Oh, lovely. And then Mr. Brooks Barnes, well, how do you beat that? What's next? Um, so we've not just got any chicken. This is corn-fed chicken, mushroom, asparagus, creamed potatoes and tarragon. And then finally... To finish, Mrs. Allison, oh, what have we got? The best is last, definitely. Chocolate box, yum yum crumbs and salted caramel sauce. Now, the big question for next week's meeting is what is a yum yum crumb? We're not entirely <laughs> sure, but it sounds great. And I would also add, of course, all other dietary requirements. Vegan, vegan, vegetarian will, of course, be catered for. <laughs> We've got three minutes the bell goes at the end of the day. We're doing a quick revision game with the lower six for history. It's a bit of uh, causes of the American Civil War Pictionary. It's going to run and run. Uh, we've got two sides. We've got one side here, one group there. There's your... So, Cameron, you've got that? Yeah, OK. Joe, have you got this? Uh, got what's on there? Oh, yeah, yeah. OK, so they've got to draw what's on there. It relates to the course. On the G of Go, ready? Joe's group. Come on, let's see it. Joe, you ready? Yeah. Go. Over there, Cameron, how are we getting on? Oh, we've got an answer. It's over here. It's a wow. Douglas Lincoln debate. Uh, uh, this is why this can be a useful revision game. Thank you. We do need to just test them on what the Lincoln Douglas debates are. So this group over here, can you tell them the millions of viewers at home? Uh, what were the Lincoln Douglas debates? Who wants to who wants to lead on this? Daniel. Well, it was a series of debates between uh, Abraham Lincoln and Stephen, D Stephen Douglas. Who won the, who won the debate? Douglas. That's not what everyone thinks. Everyone thinks it's Lincoln. Why is it significant for Lincoln? It was like a learning curve for him. It was a learning curve for him. Well done, Joe. Uh, there we go. We can pack away. Thank you very much. Well done, this group. Here we go. It's bus duty at the end of the day. Just picking this up on behalf of a colleague. You can see behind me, the buses are all gone. They're all on the way out. It's just gone four o'clock. Everything's here on time, which is always a delight when it's bus duty. Uh, and in a minute, I'm going to show you what's going on in the fields after school. So it's four o'clock, most people, a lot of people have gone home. There's still a lot of people here on site. If you look over here behind me, you can see we've got rounders over there. Uh, here on the, uh, the, the Astro, it's turned into, uh, we've got tennis courts, it's heaving. If you look on the, you won't be able to see it, on the far side, we've got the cricketers out doing cricket nets. And then behind the junior school, we've also got people in the 4G. Um, a lot of the P staff will be staying here till four, five, six o'clock this evening, uh, working with students. And a lot of colleagues are still kind of getting their bits and pieces done at the end of the day as well. So it's the end of the day, but there's still a number of students here in the Sixth Form Centre. And here we've got, we've got a group of year 13s. Here we are, look at this, working away. I'm going to ask them a few questions about their time at Cheadle, because there's only, is it how many days is it now? Eight? 
eight teaching days, I think it is. Uh, first question for you. What are you going to miss most about being here at school? <laughs> Food on your fingerprint, yeah. I mean, there's so much to choose from. Come, what else? Friends, and that. Yeah. Yeah. Things Things on on agenda. What are we looking forward to most about leaving and moving on? Uh, independence at uni. Independence at uni. There we go. Gap year. Yeah, gap year. Okay. All right. Summer. Yeah. Summer. Yeah. I think we're all. I think we're, we're all looking forward to that. Yeah. So I'm back in the office. I've got a number of things to do before I go. Emails, bit of marking. Got to work out what it is I'm actually doing for tomorrow as well. I think I've got to take some of my kids swimming as well when I get home. So that's it. It's the end of the day. I'm changed. I'm ready to go. Back on the bike. Uh, no doubt I'll see Mr. Rabbit out and about. Can't, he's, you just can't miss him. He's always out on his bike. Uh, I've had a great day. Really enjoyed this. I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Groves who did yesterday. Uh, he set the bar very high, I know. Uh, and let's say good luck to Mrs. Boardman over in the junior school. She gets to the other parts of the school. And also we've got a, a wide range of staff who are getting involved in professional services as well. It's not just teaching staff. So you can find out a little bit more about what happens in and around just a kind of a normal day here at Chudel Hume. Have a great evening and look forward to Mrs. Boardman tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>